We got our friend Mr. Benita here. That's a big fat one. We're gonna cut him up and I'm gonna show you what is good to eat and what is for bait. You're not gonna get a ton of good meat on it, but you will get enough to justify it. So here is from a smaller fish right here. This is roughly what you're gonna end up with out of this fish. The color on that meat is really good. There's a lot of dark bloody meat in there. So you're gonna have to trim it off a lot. But once you get to this stuff right here, it's very good. Boom. This is very important. I'm gonna come in right here towards that skin connection, shave in a little bit, but I'm not gonna cut through the skin. That's very, very important. And then I'm gonna push down and slip the blade. Slip that blade, slip and slide, just like that. There's a little bit of meat on the skin, don't freak out. You wanna get as close as you can, but you don't wanna cut through the skin. There we go. So on this Bonita filet, you've got a very dark red center, and that's what everyone hates. It's this super gelatinous looking meat, but on the outside of that, you have a lighter colored, good texture meat that has very good flavor. So a lot of people just end up throwing that away. And you don't have to, you can get some food value out of this. So I'm coming in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and shave that right off, right there. Now that color is noticeably different. See that color right there? That's definitely different from that red stuff right there. That's very dark, rich red blood. And I suppose if I was living like a caveman or something like that, I'd probably eat that up. That's probably not bad. But for our palates today, that's a good cut of meat right there. And it tastes like a quality tuna. Nothing wrong with that right there. Now, is it as good as a yellow fan? or a black fin? Uh, probably not, but it's at least as good as tuna from the store. So you can save that. What I'll do is I'll take that. That's a grouper chunk right there. One, two. So there's a couple of good chunks right there that I can use when I'm gag grouper fishing or even use it for red grouper. There's free bait. Well, I hope these tips on cleaning Benito helped you fill your freezer a little fuller. Please check out our sponsors, St. Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, the place to get fitted to fish. Also, do you have a business with employees exposed to health and injury risks? Don't wait until it's too late. Contact the Pike Consulting Group visit www.pikegroup.net and get your safety consultation set up today.